Happy over wins the gas. It's Steve on plot photo. Well, this is the first time for ages. Having a drink on a what, 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 Tuesday, really, right? But get it done for, ready for tomorrow. This is a, a Samsung Nuki Brown. See, it's a cracking little bit of this. So I've had, I've had it what, three months, four months in the shed. I thought I'd be doing this one again. So there's, there's quite a few kits what I'll do again, but this one's real good. Not very good in the morning for the wind, but drinking it, it's all right. Lovely that. Right then, I ain't done much this week. So I was out that weekend. Last end, last week, I spent most of the time at the allotment trying to get that sorted out, trying to get up to date. Um, 60% there, weeding it and whatever. And there was shit loads of weeds to do. And so there's only me that does it, so it's a bit of a struggle. So what I decided to do today, I was out, I was working last night, so I was, didn't get back in there till this morning about eight o'clock. And I really should have cracked on with the bees this morning, but I just couldn't be asked this morning. So it's quarter past nine at night, and decided to do a couple of brews. brews. So the first one, well, doing two tonight, get them in the fermenters, and then upstairs, then I need to crack on with them. other two that I've got upstairs, which is the... I can't remember which ones I brewed up last time. Oh, God. Oh, I did the Black Rock Lager. That's still in the barrel. That, that, that's ready to bottle now. And the Jumble Ale, traditional Inca Ale. That's in the fermenter. And that's ready to, both of them are ready to bottle up now. They're just sat there. And I've still got the strawberry wine upstairs that needs sorting out. And the mint wine that needs sorting out. So I'm going to do another tour now to add to it. More stress trying to get a bottle out. I don't have anything going. Then I have shitloads going. Right. I'm going to have to do, do that one tonight as well. For Joe de Lager. Get that sorted out tonight. Oh, look. That won't take too long. And the next one. Is the coolest thing. I've done this one before. And what I've used last time was this. And 500 grams of light dry malt. This time, I'll go from one extreme to the other. I'm going to use, use this as the base. I'm going to use a Munton Beer Enhancer Kilo. I'm going to whack that in. I'm going to add in 500 grams of spray light malt. Add that in. Drop it on the floor. Also, what do I add in this beauty? And that is 150 grams of crystal. 150 grams of crystal. And 150 grams of carapels. And I'll add, that, add, add that and both in and see what it tastes like. I've got my water boiling away. So what? One's for the Jody, one's for the for the steeping of the grains. So I don't I just do normal kits normally, then all of a sudden I'm gonna whack all this in one kit and see if it changes the, the appearance well not the appearance but the taste. So I say I've got the grains to use up so I might as well just try it, hit and miss. I've looked online for people doing the same and they're ranging from hundred grams, two hundred grams, three hundred three hundred grams of grains that they add into it. So what I've done is split it in the middle I thought, right, I'll do 150 of each, and we'll see how it goes. So either it's having to be too much, or it's not going to be enough. So, right, I better crack on. So I, work, I ain't got the software to fast forward the video so you can watch me get it all sorted out. I'll come back to you, maybe in jibs and jabs, and I'll let you know I'll get on. So, if you're falling asleep, I will catch you next time. Anyway, I'll catch you soon, chaps. Bye. Okay, that's part two. Right then, just put the Joe de Lager in the fermenter. I've got it up to 23 litres, I didn't really want to go that much. But I couldn't get the temperature down. It wanted me to go between 18 and 24. And I think I got about 25, 26. It wouldn't come down unless I got a faulty thermometer. <coughs> but anyway, 
it's in there. It feels cool enough to, to pitch the yeast off, pitch the yeast, and we'll see how it goes. But there's the trowel jar, if you can see. It's quite a light colour. I think so. Quick taste test. It's a sweet, it's quite sweet, but it doesn't seem to have any taste of it. No, no, maybe I should have added the, the monster to this lager instead of putting it better. It's not a bad taste, but it's only, it's only sweet. But that's it's coming at one the static gravity was one zero four zero. So it's not not so bad. I see how it goes. Give it a couple of weeks and we'll come back to you letting know how this one goes on. You've got to give them a go, aren't you? So right. Another five minutes then I can start doing the, the bitter one. And the kitchen looks like everybody bombs it it. So I'll come back to you again. Cheers guys. Right guys, twenty past ten. And I've just put the cups between the fermenter. There it is. And the it's the joy of the so, so I've got, got, got that one down to temperature. So that the kitchen's a bit of a mess. So here's the sample for the cups bitter. Darker than normal, and it's come out at one zero five four. So that was indeed the cup of bitter spray malt light beer enhancer, and 150 grams of crystal and 150 grams of carapels. So, sorry, give it a quick taste test. So, it just smells like and it just smells like normal, but. Keep it. It's not what I expected, but uh, this is just a sample. You can taste them the all. Quite a bit of bittering, so I, I won't try to get any bittering. I want to try and to, like, like get um, like a caramel taste or a, like a toffee taste in the bitter, but it's still nice. So I say this is a doesn't need a trial, so it's still got a ferment away, and we'll see how it goes. So right, sorry for being short, sweet. I'll finish this little sample off, get tidy up, then back to bed and back up at five in the morning so thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing love you all and catch you soon cheers all right it's steve from plot 42 hey right, less than 12 hours away i bottled them I bottled, put the bitter in the fermenter and the cooper's lager there's the bitter It does go, it keeps blowing the top off. So that's them balled up. Look at the crust on there already. Can you see? It's quite vigorous that one. That's, and that's just got a gone. So I've got them two fermenting away. These two I need to get these balled up, go into a king cake. And the wine, I need to get my thing out. Yeah, that's strawberry wine. I don't know if you can see. You can clear that. Tap on the bottom. And the mint wine in there. Drag that one out. How clear that is. 
crystal clear that. I'll have to do a taste test on them, I think. Right, that's me done. Edit this up, put it up, and I'll crack on with something else. Well, crack on with something else. But I get washed and changed, I'm off to defend that way. It's wedding, so I've left work out. This is it's Wednesday, mo it's Wednesday morning, so he's getting married today, so I'm off to his wedding. So, I'll see you next time. And thanks for viewing, and I'll catch you later, chaps. Bye for now.